Hello, and welcome back to Foreign Language House's e-video course, Teacher Toolbox. I'm Katherine Fortin of Foreign Language House. Today we're going to talk about the Actful 5 C's. Now I know that most of you know certainly what the 5 C's are in Actful, but Diane and I always find that it's nice for us to give ourselves a review and try to see how we can fit them into our lessons and our units in a practical way. Actful is the American Council for the Teachers of Foreign Language, and in 1996, they came out with the five C's. The five C's are language standards that guide teachers, educators, and foreign language professionals in doing what we do best, that is teaching foreign language in a variety of ways. So very quickly, I'm going to go through the five C's for you. And Diane has written a wonderful article comparing the five C's to a recipe for cooking up a complete, well-balanced meal. Here we go. The first 5C is communication. That is the meat of the course. The reason we teach foreign language, after all, is for authentic communication. The second C is culture, or cultures. These are the potatoes. We can't teach communication in a language without teaching the culture. And there are so many aspects of the culture that you can teach. Diane and I um, recommend that you try to bring in a little culture every day. Number three, connections. These are the side dishes or appetizers and desserts. When you use connections and you connect the target language to maybe a content area like a little bit of math, social studies, maybe a little science or the arts, it deepens the knowledge for the It also makes it clearer. Now connections can also be content like children's literature, creative teacher created stories, or a number of things. Um, connections is just not content. We do recommend that you see the Actful website at actful.org. Now the next C are comparisons and this would be your beverage of choice or um, for some the wine accompanying the meal. And in comparisons students can not only compare their home language with the target language but co comparisons can be made between cultures and even within content in the language. Number five, communities. Now, communities are the getting up and getting around, getting out on the internet, getting on the phone, and they are kind of like the restaurants you go to to eat the well-balanced meal. Communities are where students and all of us use the target language in real and meaningful ways. Now, Diane and I know that you can't include every 5C in every unit or every lesson, but they sure are nice guideposts to the lessons in the units that you do prepare. Some units and some lessons may be heavy on communication, some may be heavy on um, culture, or some on content, but over a period of time, if you round out your meal with the five C's, your students will have the most complete experience. Most importantly, ACTFL stands for using the language authentically. And, and staying away from whole lessons and whole units that teach about the language structures, which is a wonderful thing to do in small bursts. If you have any other questions about how to incorporate the five C's into your lessons, please send us an email. Let us know. Thank you. Goodbye.